Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today I'll be showing you guys how to create a zipper rig inside Blender. This is the result for my research and development for this tutorial and I'm quite happy with the result which I posted on my page uh, which you guys can check out. I'll just put the link. And yeah, so this is what we'll be creating today. So um, I missed the feature which was to enable it to tilt a bit when it moves also. But don't worry, we'll be adding it in this tutorial. So stick around so you don't miss that. So for this tutorial, we'll be using just cubes because I want to actually explain the basic principle without any other distractions. And yeah, so let's just add a cube and just move it on top of the grid and we duplicate it. So it can just serve as the seat for the zipper. Um, now we just duplicate this. Next, we need to we need our bone. So we add the amateur single bone and place it in um in the right place. So let's enable more visibility for this. So in a viewport display, um, you want to go to and select in front. And I like to use transparent bone. Cool. Um, so now let's just um place more bones because this is not enough to create the effect so i will just duplicate this one and place it here so um let's just create the setup with this just these two bones then we just duplicate this so we don't have to do everything manually um next let's just create a controller bone so this bone is going to control the effect of the whole zipper it's going to act like the buckle i don't know i've forgotten the word but anyway Okay, so uh, before we continue, let's apply the, let's recalculate the row, which you can do that by pressing Shift N, and you, you wanna select global um, positive Y axis. So once you do that, you're all good to go, because that is, this is gonna make you avoid um, errors in the future. Okay, so now we select this controller bone and Shift select the bone we want, we want to apply the constraint to to and press Control Shift C and select Transformation. So you can also achieve this result too by selecting the bo bone you want to apply the constraint to and uh, um, add it manually here, but it's gonna take a lot of time. So I just prefer to do it this way, clicking on Control Shift C and Transformation. So it automatically fills out all the names and all the bones for us. I want when I move this bone, on the y axis this bone moves on the positive y uh, x axis okay so let's set it up so if you've never used the transformation constraint it's it may look it looks quite intimidating um but it's actually easy to understand so what you have here is let's just keep this extrapolate for now um and just move forward to the source so this source basically means the control object so this control object as i said earlier i want it to move in the positive y axis. So I'm going to apply those command here. So which means I'm going to be playing with the y axis here. So the destination is basically the object which I want to influence. So let's set it up. For the source, I want to set it to negative three and positive three. And for the destination, I will set it to negative two and positive two. And finally, I want to set it to local space. Anyway, so you may get this kind of weird movement placement of the bone. And to fix that, you just play with this parameter here. So most of the time, just flipping it around will get you the result you want. So now if I move this bone, it's it's working, but it's not going, it's really not going to the direction which I want. So I want it to um become inverse of this movement. So to do that, I would just set this to positive two and set this to negative two. So now it's gonna work more better. Okay. Um, so let's apply let's apply this to this bone. So we'll not do it manually, we'll just copy this by selecting this bone and shift selecting this bone and press Ctrl C. Ctrl C, sorry, and copy bone constraint. So once you do that, we have this. But right now it's going the same way 
And let's fix that quickly. We'll set this to negative two and set this to positive two. So now when we move this bone, we're getting the right result which we want. So this is good so far, but I as I said earlier, I forgot to add a feature which is the tilting of the seat of the zipper. So to do that, we'll also be using this constraint. So let's set up another one. So same drill, control shift C transformation. So for this time, we we'll also set the source to negative three and this to also positive three. Okay. But for the destination, instead of location, we want to switch it up to rotation. Also set this to local space. And it's the bone is going to be rotating on the y axis. So if you're not familiar with the orientation of Blender, by default, Blender um, up axis is the Z. But when it's working with bones, the up axis is the Y. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. You can just ask questions if you're confused at any point in the comment. Okay. So we'll set this to negative 50 degrees and set this to 50 degrees. Okay. So now when once I move this, you're not seeing this effect. I would just disable the first constraint. So if I move this, you get you get tilting in this bone. This bone tilts a bit, as you can see. Okay, so that's what we want. So let's just quickly apply it to the other bone. We'll just press Ctrl C, but this time we'll use copy selected constraint. So we do that and select the first, the second one, and okay. So now this also have that. So before moving forward, I know it's not going to look right because we need to flip it as we did earlier. So we'll just set this to 50 and set this to negative 50. So now everything is all right. So once we move it, it's moving and also tilting. So let's enable the transformation of this sponsor. So everything is looking great. So let's keep moving. So now we can just duplicate this bone since we have, everything is working now. We can just duplicate it and apply it to the rest of the model. So Shift D, we'll just move this into place. And for this, I want it to be more aligned. So now if I move this, Blender automatically assigns everything for you. Okay. So let's duplicate it. Okay. So now, um, since this is going to be like the control bone, I want when I move this bone up to this direction, it's automatically just open all the bones. So it's quite easy to do that. So the constraint we'll be using now is the floor constraint. So let's select this and shift select this and press Ctrl Shift C and we'll be selecting the floor constraint. Okay, so by default it's set to Z, which is what we want. So once we move this in the up axis, you get a score effect. So as you can see, it's automatically pu pushing the bone upwards. So let's just apply it to the rest of the bone. Okay, so now everything is good and working perfectly. So we can just move this and it works. And we're also getting the cool tilt. Okay, so this is basically the whole rig. So let's apply it to the model. So we we'll select the object and shift select the bone and press Ctrl P. We'll select um, with empty groups. So this is not going to apply any weight to the object. So we can manually impute the weight values. So let's do that. We'll select the armature this time and shift select the um, object and go into the weight paint and now we can just weight paint it so uh, we'll select one bone and go into edit mode and select this object and press assign so this is the way we're gonna do it assign so i'll just pause the video and come back when i'm done okay so i'm done assigning other bones and we can proceed from here so we're basically done with this so now when we move or just shift hide the rest. Once we move this bone, we get a skull effect. So this is basically how to create the zipper effect. So let's for bonus, let's add a, another constraint that restrict this bone going downward. So we'll add 
a limit location so this local space will restrict all access and yeah so we'll set this to about 10 more to about 15 okay so guys this is basically how to create a zipper inside blender so i hope i was helpful and if you enjoyed this tutorial please give me a thumbs up and if you wish to see more cool stuff from me don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you again guys for watching. Bye bye for now. See you next time.